Section 302 of the Internal Revenue Code provides four tests to determine whether a stock redemption is treated as a sale of stock taxed as a capital gain or as a regular distribution taxed as ordinary income. In United States v. Davis, the United States Supreme Court considered the most subjective of these tests, Section 302b1. Macklin Davis and some of his family members owned 100% of the outstanding shares of a closely held corporation. To increase the corporation's working capital and qualify for a loan, Davis purchased 1,000 shares of preferred stock for $25,000. The corporation was to redeem the preferred stock after repaying the loan. Several years later, the corporation repaid the loan and redeemed Davis's preferred stock for the $25,000 he paid. On his federal income tax return, Davis reported the redemption as a capital gains transaction with a net gain of zero and paid no tax on the redemption. The Commissioner of the Internal Revenue Service disagreed with Davis's treatment of the redemption as a capital gains transaction. Instead, the Commissioner concluded that the redemption was essentially equivalent to a dividend and taxable as ordinary income. The Commissioner assessed a deficiency. Davis paid the deficiency and sued for a refund. The District Court found that the redemption served a legitimate business purpose to support the corporation's financing plan and ruled for Davis. The Sixth Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.